Mark Cuban and Bob Yananaway are both well-known businessmen throughout the country, but they disagree on who will benefit the country, especially when it comes to the economy. Our Philip Ward has more. Poll after poll indicates that the top issue for voters is the economy, and both Vice President Harris and former President Trump have been touting their plans and policies on how they'll benefit voters. Mark Cuban, entrepreneur and Harris surrogate, said he trusts Harris's plan more than Trump's and said the vice president will be great for small businesses and hardworking people. There's 33 million um, companies in this country. 99.5% of them are small businesses. And 98% of those are run by people who make less than $400,000. And so the reality is for almost the entire country or for the entire country, she's going to say that if you're making up 400 k or less, your taxes are not going up and most likely they're going to go down. And Donald Trump doesn't talk about small business at all. He likes to, he thinks he talks about hardworking Americans and how he's going to help them, but he doesn't really say anything. CEO of Goya Foods, Bob Unanaway, disagrees with Cuban and said the country saw what the economy was like under former President Trump's leadership. And now we're seeing what it's like, again, from day one, where the prices of things are, are out of control. For us, I'll give you an example. Uh, a can. We make our own cans. We fill our own cans. We we and bottles and all these products uh, went up sixty four percent. So the, the steel, transportation, all these things uh, have driven prices out of control and and caused inflation not at twenty percent. I'd say over fifty percent in many cases. Philip Ward, Erie News Now. And a recent Gallup poll found fifty two percent of Americans say they are dissatisfied when it comes to the economy.